Ryan for our final question. Mr. Chairman, thank you. And I would merely ask uh, some of the questions are, are going to be very straightforward, but might take a while to answer. So I'd ask the prior speaker and yourselves if you would prefer to get back to us with answers, that would be very helpful. I'm very sensitive to the prior speaker's comments about legacy cost and sunk cost that have occurred from prior activities that you didn't create but needs to be remediated. If you think there is any potential way or what way that should be funded to remediate the 300,000 wells, as an example, that, that would be very helpful. But it seems our archaic to try to punish someone who didn't cause the problem with someone to do it. So any comments you might have on that would be very, very helpful. Uh, I've actually spent a good deal of time looking at that issue. And uh, if you look at the department has done a pretty good job at quantifying uh, water pollution related to mine mining issues. And I think they put out a report every th two years uh, called a 303D uh, assessment of water quality in the state. They show about 5,500 miles of streams impaired from mine drainage. For oil and gas activity, that number is about 86 miles. The majority of that is uh, old refineries and, uh, and wells that are in areas of coal mining where the <laughs> mining activity has eaten away the casings in the wells. So the, the problem uh, of legacy oil and gas wells is nowhere uh, is not similar to what it is for the coal mining industry. Again, we, I would really appreciate your thoughts came back. On the other issue is, would you be in favor of a regulatory process that build based upon, uh, build for the permitting process based upon the complexity of the application? As I mentioned, the general permit uh, concept in every other state that we compete with is that the permit is a very it can be a complex permit and have a lot of reporting requirements, but the application process is very simple okay. and the review time is short. So you, you get the list of rules you have to follow if you're going to uh, operate under that permit and then you, know, you, you are authorized to proceed quickly and report as you go. In Pennsylvania, everything's up front. In the interest of time, Mr. Chairman, I'll wave off on the last question.